Hello and welcome back. We are again going to be reviewing some more grade nine topics. And again, we're focusing on linear relations today. So the topics are parallel and perpendicular lines, and we are going to be determining the equation of a line that passes through two given points. All right, let's grab our pencils, our paper, and let's get started. Okay, so our first question is about perpendicular lines. So the question says, determine the equation of a line in standard form that is perpendicular to 3x subtract y equals 9 and passes through the point 3, 4. Okay, so just a couple things that we need to remember. So standard form is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So let me just go ahead and write that down. So a x plus b y plus c equals zero. Perpendicular, this is referring to the slope. So remember perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals. So what that means is we are going to flip the fraction and switch the signs. Okay, so again, perpendicular is the negative reciprocal. So we're going to flip and switch. I sometimes call this the old flip and switch. Okay, and next we know that the equation also passes through 3, 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to uh, write down some headers or titles to kind of keep things organized. So the first thing we're going to be working on is the slope. So go ahead and write slope. And we need to find the slope that's perpendicular to the equation 3x subtract y is equal to 9. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that into y equals mx plus b form by rearranging that equation. So follow along with me and write this down. So negative y is equal to negative 3x plus 9. Next, we need to divide all terms by negative 1. because we need y equals, not negative y equals. Okay, so then we're left with y equals three x minus nine, because if we have a positive nine and a negative one, that gives us negative nine. Okay, so right now my slope is three, but I want the negative reciprocal so I could write this as 3 over 1. So my slope m equals 3, but I want the slope perpendicular. So m perpendicular, so it's an upside down t with a little square in the bottom corner for the perpendicular symbol. Sorry, mine doesn't look too nice, but anyway. Uh, m perpendicular is equal to, so I'm going to flip the 1 and the 3. So the 1 is now in the numerator. The 3 is now in the denominator. And then I'm also going to switch my signs. So it was a positive. Now it's going to be negative. So my perpendicular slope is negative 1 third. Okay, so the next thing in order to come up with our equation is we need the y-intercept. So I'm running out of space here, so let me just... Uh, open up a new screen here. So we're going to next find the y intercept. But we need to use the slope perpendicular that we just calculated. So we're going to be using the slope is negative one third for our equation and then we need to figure out the b value. So y equals negative one third x plus B. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but we actually have 
three variables here. We have the y, the x, and the b. So in order to figure out the b, well, we need to actually use our coordinate 3, 4, because those are the x and the y coordinates. So my 3 is the x, 4 is the y. So in my equation, wherever I see an x, I can replace it with a 3. Wherever I see a y, I can replace it with a 4. So let's go ahead and do that. So 4 equals negative one third and I'm going to replace my x with a three plus b. Okay so you'll notice the three in the denominator of the negative one third and the three that I've multiplied by they can actually cancel out so that actually makes things nice and neat and we can just go ahead and cross that out. So now we're left with 4 equals negative 1 plus b. So we're getting closer. So let me just write it up here. 4 equals negative 1 plus b. So we're going to solve for b. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. So 4 plus 1 is equal to b. So b is equal to 5. So that's our y-intercept. So now we know our slope perpendicular, which is negative 1 third, and we know our y-intercept is 5. So we're going to put it all together, and we're going to make an equation. So again, we're running out of space here. Let me get another piece of paper. So my equation, I like to write EQN for short for equation. And I'm going to just put it all together. So Y equals negative one third X Okay, so y equals negative one-third x plus five, but we need standard form. So remember this is in the form of ax plus by plus c equals zero. So what I could do to get rid of the fraction is I could multiply every single term by 3. So then we're going to have, so let me just write standard form. We're going to have 3y equals negative x plus 15. So again, I've just multiplied every single term by 3. Okay, and that helps get rid of that fraction. And then I need to move all of the terms to the left. And then on the right, we're going to be left with equals zero. Okay, so I want my x to be first because that's the standard form. Um, Ax plus by plus c equals zero. So then I have x plus 3y. So remember the sign on the x changes because we've added it to both sides. Minus 15 equals zero. Okay, and that's it. So again, I like to make my answer stand out in some way. So go ahead and put a box around it. And so that is our final equation in standard form of the line that is perpendicular to 3x subtract y equals 9 and passes through the point 3, 4. Okay, uh, we're going to look at another example. And we're going to determine the equation of a line in standard form that passes through the coordinates 2, 1 and 4, 3. So just like before, we are going to... Um, write down our slope and we're going to determine our y-intercept and we're going to put it all together into an equation. So across your paper you should have slope as a title, y-intercept as a title, and equation as a title, and then we're going to work underneath in that space. So slope, 
So remember to find slope given two points. Each of these points are just x and y values. So for the first point, I'm just going to call that x1 and the first, uh, sorry, x1, y1. And the next coordinate for 3 is going to be x2, y2. Okay, so then what we are going to do is we are going to use the equation m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we're simply going to substitute in the corresponding values. Okay, so m equals 3 minus 1 over 4 minus 2. So m equals 2 over 2. And I can simplify that to 1. So m equals 1. All right, next we are going to find the y-intercept. So again, I've written too big. I'm running out of space. Let me go to the next uh, blank screen here. So we're finding the y-intercept. We are going to use the slope that we just calculated. Plus, we can use any of the two coordinates that were given to us in the original problem. So we could either use 2, 1 or 4, 3, whichever you like. You will get the same answer regardless. Okay, so I like to use, I'll use the first one, 2 and 1. So that's my X and my Y. So we're going to use Y equals... M that we just found out, remember, was equal to 1. And we're looking for the B. So I'm going to replace my Y with a 1. And I'm going to replace my X with a 2. Whoops. Okay, so 1 equals 2 plus B. So 1 minus 2. Equals B. So B equals negative 1. Okay, let's put it all together and make an equation. Okay, so we have y equals, remember our slope was 1, and our y-intercept is negative 1. So y equals 1x, or just x, minus 1. And then we, again, have to write it in standard form. So negative x plus y plus 1 equals 0. So that is the equation in standard form. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next question. This is the last question for today. Determine the equation of a line in standard form that is parallel to 2x plus 6y equals 8 and has the same y-intercept as x plus 2y equals 4. All right. So parallel, again, is referring to the slope. So we're going to start the same way. I always like to start with drawing my headers. Okay, so slope. So parallel, that's referring to the slope or the M. Okay, so we need to find the slope of that first equation. So 2x plus 6y equals 8. So we're going to rearrange the equation into y equals mx plus b form. 
So 6y equals negative 2x plus 8. And then I need to divide each term by the value in front of the y. So in this case, a 6. OK, so I'm dividing by 6. So y equals negative. So 2 divided by 6 reduces to a third. Negative a third. x plus, And then 8 divided by 6 reduces to 4 thirds. OK, so a slope parallel means it has the same slope. So my m parallel, or my parallel slope, I use two little lines to indicate that it's parallel, is equal to negative 1 third. So that's going to be the slope that we're going to use. OK, so our equation also has the same y-intercept as y, or sorry, the second equation, x plus 2y equals 4. So let's go ahead and rearrange that to find b. So remember, the y-intercept is the b. So 2y equals negative x plus 4. OK, we're going to divide both sides by 2. And then y is equal to negative x over 2, or negative 1 half x. And then 4 divided by 2 reduces to 2. So really, all we're concerned about is that 2, that b. So our b equals 2. And now we can put it all into an equation. And then we're finished. Well, except, of course, we have to put it into standard form. So our equation is y equals negative 1 third x plus 2 is. And in standard form, okay, so now we want standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply all of the terms by the denominator 3. So we have 3y equals negative x, because the 3s will cancel out when we multiply a third by 3. So negative x plus 2 times 3 is 6. And then we're going to rearrange the equation. So x plus 3 y minus 6 equals 0. And that is the final equation for the answer. And that is it. We are all done for today. Well done. Again, if you need to pause the video to catch up at all or go back and review the video before a test or a quiz, you may do so. All right. Take care. See you next time.